Oh, hey guys, J-Hope came out with a brand new song called More, and we can see him through an X-ray machine, which is what we are going to recreate today. And although his X-ray is probably a 3D model, we are going to do it a little bit more practical and a little bit of extra touch inside Adobe After Effects. It's going to be a unique tutorial on how you can make an advanced X-ray effect. So without further ado, let's start the video. I am Jordy from Cinecom.net. No, I am Jordy. Here's what you're gonna need for the effect, guys. You wanna shoot yourself in front of a white background, ideally something very bright. That is why we're shooting light through this soft box. And for the subject itself, so for you, you wanna have pretty flat lighting. So that's why we have the soft box right in front of me so that we don't have too much contrast in the face. And that's pretty much it for the lighting. Next, you wanna shoot yourself for every action twice. So that that means one with your normal face and one with a mask on like a skeleton mask. They have to be perfectly synced, so that is why it's best to shoot short shots of a couple of seconds long. And of course, play back the song that you're going to dance on or do whatever you want. That way you have some sort of a beat that you can synchronize to. Also keep the movements basic. Don't swing your head around like crazy. That's also going to give problems with syncing. And last but not least, the camera. One important thing to pay attention to is that you shoot at some sort of a slow motion, so at 60 frames per second, ideally. That way you have a little bit of playroom to synchronize the two shots in Adobe After Effects, which Janik or Lorenzo, I don't know who, is going to explain right now. But first, you've got to get past me. Of course, not everybody has a skull mask laying around. But luckily, Storyblocks, the sponsor of today's video, has a ton of skulls, skeletons, and even X-ray footage. So, don't worry, you can always recreate this effect. And with your ever-growing library with more than 1 million royalty-free high-quality stock assets, you can create even more effects. Like our Space Jam Dunk effect, where we created a cool hut with elements all from Storyblocks. Just like our Iron Man effect. Or maybe you saw our Super Saiyan effect. Again, we used a lot of stock assets like energy from Storyblocks to create this. And of course, these stock assets you can find in HD to 4K resolution, but also various After Effects templates, such as our Cinecom Things title animation. Of course, epic music and sound effects for every video and much more. And to top that off, you can download as much assets as you want from the library with the unlimited all access plan. Or you can check out our other affordable plans, there's one for every need. If you want to know more about Storyblocks and how to start downloading right away, click the first link in the description below or go straight to storyblocks.com slash Cinecom. The first step and probably the hardest step of this entire effect is going to be the syncing of our two shots. Because we are working with a person and not a robot, the movement will never be 100% the same. But luckily we have some tricks up our sleeves. Like mentioned before, we shot everything in 60 frames per second, giving us the ability to slow down our footage if needed. First, let's sync our talent with the skull. Look for the same big movement in both clips and match those two. To make it easier, just lower the opacity of the skull layer. Then to match the rest of the movement, we are going to use the time remapping technique. We enable the time remapping on the layer we want to adjust, the skull, and created keyframes in the beginning and the end of the clip. Then we also create a keyframe on all the movements we want to sync. And now it's just a matter of dragging the created keyframes to the right spot and sync all the movements. This will eventually sync the timing of the movements of both clips, speeding some parts up and slowing other parts down. Of course, now we can finish up the syncing with lowering the scales and some subtle position adjustments. Now for the actual x-ray effect. First let's start on our talents clip. The first effect we'll be using is the black and white effect. We do this to remove color so we get the most control later on in the effect. The next step is going to be adding contrast with the curves effect. In the RGB channel we created an S-like curve making the highlights brighter and the shadows darker. Then for the main and most important effect, the invert effect. Let's also add the tritone effect and with this we can determine the color of our x-ray look. Just change the midtones color for the look that you want. And voila, Jory is already looking radioactive. Next up is the skull and we actually first need to rotoscope it. So pre-compose the skull layer and use the rotoscope tool on the new pre -com. And once the rotoscoping is done, just copy all the effects from our talents clip and paste them on the skull. Now just adjust the blending mode to screen and voila, we can see Jordy's skull. As a final detail we also added a glow to an adjustment layer on top. We use Red Giant's optical glow effect because it has much more control. And that's it. <laughs> This 
right here is the brand new LG Duolup monitor, which are actually two normal 16 by 9 monitors on top of each other, but you don't have that bezel in between, which makes working on it actually super nice. You can create some really unique workspaces, like for example here in After Effects. I have way more space for all of my layers, as you can see down here. Now, the LG Duolup also comes with the updated Ergo stand, which connects to your table and it allows you to kind of like swivel around the monitor. Maybe I want to look at it from the side or something, or maybe I want to look from up here or maybe when look at it from down here. That is up to you guys. And now we're going to take a look at the monitor from over there because it's going to function as an X-ray machine. Oh yeah, I'll leave a link to the monitor in the description down below, guys. Last week, we made a video about Midjourney, an AI tool that can generate images from simple phrases or keywords. We promised you guys to give five invites away to that tool for anyone who writes down the most creative phrase or sentence in the comments. Well, here's the scoop. Midjourney actually made their tool open to the public, so... Uh, no more invites, guys. Everyone can try it out. However, we did pick out actually 10 of the most creative comments that we got and we posted them on our Instagram. So go check them out and see if your idea is in there. Wake up, get out the sheets. We came for one man, forget my peace. We take the west side, take on the east. I'ma put them in the cage, never let out the... Let out the, let out the, let out the. I hear him chat to the noise. Move too quick, can't stop for the talking. I hear him chat with the boys. Not so tough, but man's keep talking, yeah. Like fire on the pan. If you want to touch my please use caution. So it turns out I'm physically okay, but not mentally. Anyways, make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you liked the video and leave a nice comment down below. That way you're helping out the video in the YouTube algorithm. Stop laughing, Timo. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you, Storyblocks, for the support. And as always, stay creative. Now, check out the video here on my left and wash your hands. <laughs>